everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. Continuing on our Sysadmin 101 series, we're going to show you a free utility out there that will help you burn CDs and DVDs. It's called BurnAware. It's been out for quite a while actually, and you can get it from BurnAware.com. So go there and you'll get this website. Go to Downloads and download BurnAware free. It's really small. It's 5.9 megs. You could burn CDs with it, you could burn, create and burn ISO images, cube in images, and you could do a lot of stuff. The other versions have more features, but really the BurnAware free is good. So download it, install it, and when you run it, you'll get a menu like this. Okay, so you see that? It's pretty nice if we go to the, let's do the top row, these are your data disks. So you can create a data CD, a data DVD, so CDs and DVDs. Most of your laptops and computers these days should have a DVD slash CD burner. So this is pretty good. A boot disk or a Blu-ray disk. Hey, that's pretty cool. Blu-ray disk right there. So I guess if you have a Blu-ray burner. So pretty easy. If you wanted to create a data CD. All you have to do is click that. This brings up this wonderful menu. You'd select your CD or DVD drive, which should automatically be selected. Select the speed. Usually you want to do the highest, so 24 is good for me. Then what you do is you drag in an Explorer folder and you just start dragging crap in that you want to have burnt to the CD. So I want to do that. Uh, that icon, I'm just being silly here, you know, PDF, whatever. So you're dragging in a bunch of stuff. It will tell you when the disk is full, and it says estimated size on disk. So far I have 16 megabytes. And then I would just simply put in a blank CD and click burn to burn all this stuff to there. So it's very simple. If I wanted a DVD, I just click the drop down, DVD, bam. I've you know, assuming I've got a DVD burner. And if you have a double layer DVD, that's pretty cool. I get 8.5 gigs out of that. And then I could drag a lot more stuff in there. So making a DVD or a CD is very simple in BurnAware. All right, let's return to the welcome screen. If you want to make an audio CD, that's pretty cool. What you do is you click that. And then you would drag in MP3s. So let's see if I have some MP3s here. Okay, I'm going to pick all of that. Drag it in there. And you can see it loads in all the tracks. It tells you the total time and it tells you how many minutes are available. I could change it to different CD formats. I burn this and now I have a music CD that I can run in my car or any other regular music CD player. And that's how easy it is to make an audio CD. That's pretty easy. MP3 disc, that is for players that can support MP3 directly. If I want to burn a DVD video, wow, if I can click on there, this assumes I have a video-ts folder, and you could get these from other programs, and then once you drag it in there, it will convert it and make a DVD for you, which is pretty dirt simple. And then we have the advanced stuff like burn an image. If you have an ISO image or a BinQ image, you can burn it. If you want to make an image, if you have a CD of something, let's say Microsoft Office or Microsoft Windows install, then you can make an ISO image out of that and back it up to a hard drive or whatever. You can make a boot ISO. These, these you don't really use. Erase a disk. This is if you have those CDRWs or DVD RWs and disk info will tell you about the disk. So, it's a very easy utility. It's free, burn aware. It's definitely, I use this over anything that's included with the computer because they all suck. Usually you're given like a, a Roxio or a, like the Toshiba DVD creator or whatever they call it. Uh, don't use those. Don't use the built-in Microsoft crap. Uh, just get burn aware free and, and be done with it. Very simple program, easy to use. Everyone should have it. Well, thank you very much for watching.